Good morning, everyone. It is Sunday. As you know, I am not teaching with VIP Kids today. I am teaching with Kimberly Kids. So I wanted to share a very unique experience that I had today with Kimberly that I thought all of my fellow VIP Kid teachers would find um, funny, heartwarming, a little sentimental. Um, but I had a class with a lovely student. Um, they were in China. And this student on Cambly lived in China. And they noticed my dino. The student immediately asked if it was dino from VIP Kid. And I said yes. This student had previously taken classes with VIP Kid and had made a little sculpted dino doll. I almost cried in class. The fact that we as VIP Kid teachers have have been able to reach all the way across the world and instill that love of learning, that love of coming to class, that, that desire to want to know more just by being who we are and sharing Dino with our students. I just wanted to let you know that this student had not taken classes with VIP Kid in a couple years, but not once did they say that they had forgotten VIP Kid or that they did not like VIP Kid or that there was anything negative about it. So for any of you who have any negative thoughts or thoughts that you know this is not going to continue, I wanted to share this with you. It was a very special moment for me knowing that our mainland students are going to be leaving us soon. It was very heartwarming. Sorry, I'm like I cried to see how much of an impact we actually have on these children's lives. So with that being said, for the next three weeks, I'm going to be enjoying my time with China. I'm going to be getting all of my families on WeChat so that I can share in the holidays with them this year. Because our holidays are coming up, their holidays will follow short after, and I definitely don't want to miss out on that with any of my students. I'm sorry, I'm not crying, you're crying, all right? I'm not crying, you're crying. All right. Um, so yeah, that, that was the first part of my morning today, which definitely um, it made me feel all kinds of things. Um, so then me and this student talked about VIP Kid, Dino, China, all of those wonderful things. We talked about the Chinese zodiac signs. We talked about our other astrology signs. It was a very, a very nice experience to have, you know, knowing that our, <laughs> the end is near, if you will. So that was, that was, that was super cool. And I even told the student, you're going to make me cry with this. It was, I just had to share this. It was, I, I don't even have any words for it. I had never met this student before. Never. And she immediately knew that I was with this company. Where's Dino? There's Dino. <laughs> Let's just hold him. Um, so yeah, that was super awesome. But I did want to let you guys know something about Cambly Kids. So with VIP Kid, if we get a request, we can accept or deny it, right? With Cambly Kids, if you deny it, it's a cancellation. You need to accept it for it to not be a cancellation. I made that mistake and... I said that I had too many cancellations because it was within, I think, 12 hours. But I didn't know that if you deny a request, it becomes a cancellation. So I had to message them and let them know, hey, my other platform, it was accept or deny. It wasn't if it's a request that's already booked. So I made an honest mistake. Yeah, so things happen. But my contract isn't under review. No money was docked. None of that. It's just set to regulars for seven days. Seven days not a big deal uh, for the next six days i'm working with vip kid five days so then i'll have one day off and i can go back to teach on sundays and um i already opened my schedule for the first the second week of november and i already had some bookings so um keep that in mind i don't know if they're still hiring i actually applied back in august and um my first week with them was golden week and I actually had to cancel classes because my cat had a stroke. I let them know that. They, they handled everything. They were super great about it. Um, but yeah, so if you have not gotten a backup plan, please, 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 please 
get a backup plan. I know that there are some families in China who are going to be able to continue to take classes because they're in an autonomous region. Um, if you're not sure what an autonomous region is, let me clarify using an example that we have in America. So the United States, the continental United States. We also have, um, what, what, what are they called now? Oh my gosh, the word just slipped my mind. Um, but Guam, Puerto Rico, the U.S. Virgin Islands, those are all part of the United States, but they are not part of the uh, consecutive 50 states, if that makes sense. They are part of the country, but they have their own government rules, things like that. So an autonomous region in China is very similar from what I understand. Now, I don't live in China, so I'm not 100% sure. But from what I understand, an autonomous region operates much like Guam, the U.S. Virgin Islands, and Puerto Rico, things like that. So they may have different things, may have different laws, different regulations, things like that. I know for a fact a couple of my students do live in autonomous regions, so I'm interested to see what goes on with that. Um, but if I can't continue teaching them, I will continue to contact, to maintain contact with them on WeChat. If you guys don't have a WeChat, let me just tell you WeChat is great. If a parent sends you something, you can literally double tap on that in Chinese and it will translate it for you into English. If you are not sure, you can copy and paste that one Chinese character, send it to them, translate it, and it'll translate just that one character. It has a built-in translator, so it makes it super easy to communicate with your families. You can also communicate by voice. So you hold to talk and you would just send like a voice message, which is great if your student is having trouble pronouncing something. They can send you the word and you can send them an audio of how to pronounce it. I did this with a lot of my um, regulars before when we got into level three because there were a lot of blends that were hard to read. So keep in mind, you can do a lot of things on WeChat. I like to share a lot of what we cook, the things we celebrate, and just, you know, daily life because I've been in their life for two and a half years. So they've been in my life since my daughter was five months old. So I like to keep in contact with them because they're not just my students' families. They are actually my friends. A lot of them I have really close personal relationships with that I know some people who are other teachers would probably not have that type of relationship with their students or their students' families. So it's really great for professional and personal connections. So yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a short update and share that wonderful VIP Get story just so... Everybody can have a little bit of dino light in their life today. So um, if you guys have any questions about Cambly or I haven't done Cambly adults. I'm just doing Cambly kids. If you have any questions or you're a little nervous to get started, open your schedule. Let me know. Um, I'm here to help. It's a much more laid back teaching experience. No bells and whistles. I do have my stars because I'm, I'm just that teacher. Okay. I also still have my props because again, I'm just that teacher. Um, but yeah, it, I don't have to use Stars to Apples, Google Slides. Um, I just use what's in there. They have a library you can pull from. So it's, it's different, but it's also very similar when you interact with the kids. So far today, I have taught a student in Turkey, one in China, one in Brazil, and I think I have one in Portugal later and one in Taiwan. But... Today, I've had six classes, which is pretty good because I haven't taught since Golden Week, so that's been two weeks, and then I over my schedule for today, I've had six classes booked. So there are students there wanting to take classes. It just depends on when you're willing to work, what you're willing to do, and how much you're willing to take for the pay. It's a little bit of a pay cut, but when I tell you it's significantly less work, I mean it. There's no feedback at the end. Usually, I spend a lot of time working, writing personal feedback to my students. I don't have feedback with Cambly, so it's less pay and less work. I just need to stress that. If you are like me and you have a small child at home, less work means more time and energy to put into my family and my child. So that's why I chose Cambly, in case everybody was wondering. That's why I am still staying with VIP Kid Global. I am hoping that that takes off and I can continue with VIP Kid because in my heart is Dino. Dino here, Dino there, 
dino dino everywhere all right that was weird um obviously i'm very tired so i'm gonna sign off now and go get ready for my next two classes with cambly i hope everybody has had a wonderful weekend and i'll talk to you guys soon